Good morning everybody and welcome back. This is the first day that I will be home all day long, not at work in Louisiana, up at duck camp, up at the tent <laughs> in over a month. So today I am going to see if I can find anything here in the garden and I know there's a few things and I'm going to make me something in the slow cooker. It's a little bit of a chilly morning here in Minnesota, but it's supposed to get up to 75, which is over the over what it's supposed to be today, so it's going to be a really nice day. Come in here and grab a few potatoes and an onion. Alright, so we're going to put some carrots in there, put a little eggplant in there, a couple of beets, we'll put in a red onion, this here is dinosaur kale, a few potatoes, I have a couple of pork hocks from the pigs that I butchered a couple years ago that are, I did not smoke these, so they're just a straight pork hock. I'm going to throw these in. And then I'm going to put these three quail in that all this stuff is still partially frozen, but these are the ones that did not get plucked when I butchered those, so they'll be good in the slow cooker. And then even though I put a bunch in the freezer this year, this is broccoli and cauliflower from 2015, so I need to use this up so I can start using up the new stuff. Okay, I'm going to put in about three quarters of a cup of water, a can of cream of chicken soup, put in a can of cream of mushroom soup also. This is all that condensed stuff, so that's why I put in a little bit of water. Pork hocks there, the quail, cauliflower, I'd say that's a pretty full slow cooker. And I still want to get some broccoli in there. Get some garlic powder in there, onion powder, some Lowry's. This stuff here is some kind of chicken rub, but it tastes pretty good. Red wine vinegar, Worcestershire sauce, a little bit of soy sauce in here. Definitely going to want a little bit of liquid smoke. And we might as well throw in a couple of bay leaves because I really don't know what they do, but we'll put them in there. Put the cover on, and I can't believe it even fits. <laughs> Let's see, turn the temperature on high, put it in there for 10 hours, let it go. Alright, I'll be back in a couple hours and see if that's starting to go down a little bit or what. Well, it's about five hours later right now, and she's starting to soften up a bit. Well, it's, we're about six minutes away from ten hours of cooking. <laughs> that meat's completely off the bone, so definitely done. 
I think I'll let that cool down for a little bit. I did taste it. It tastes pretty good. It's going to need just a little bit of salt, but all the other flavors are really good. Even Chester is going to eat good tonight. Okay, everyone. Well, thanks a lot for watching. We'll see you guys on the next video.